Welcome back to channel everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about how you can dynamically embed image in your email body using Power Automate and can then wrap text around it. As you can see in my email, I have uh, this email in the left and there is uh, a text wrap around this image with some header and with some title. So you can play with the HTML the way you want, but uh, the purpose is to embed image and have uh, some text around it. So let's just talk about how we can achieve this. Before going ahead, I've created this NM images document library. I have uh, around eight images here. And next to it, we have a number value column where I've put in sequential number for every images. It is from one to eight. We'll utilize this into our Power Automate flow to get the unique images. I'll go to my Power Automate, instant cloud flow, manual trigger, name it embed images create first action will be get file content select site address file identifier if i go to this folder icon and select my document library any of images i can select any of the images uh, from this uh, document library and this will be our file identifier but the requirement that we have is we need a dynamic value here. So to get that, I'll add one more action that is get file properties only. Here I will select the site address again. Library name will be our any images. And in the advanced parameter, I will add a filter query parameter here where I will write this number value column that is number value equal to we need one image at a time so for that i'm writing a rand function that is starting from one and ending at nine so it will start from one to till eight as we have the number value from one to eight so whatever this rand function will return so let's suppose it return four and our number value four in this document library is this so it will return an image one underscore four so once this has returned that particular image it will return the properties of that image so to get only the identifier what i will do is i'll add one more action which i'll write select command and that will be output of this get file properties only and in the map what i will do is i need identifier only so i will do this and we'll have the identifier so generally uh, the output that select return into an array format so because it's considered that there could be multiple values so it's a array index it's return so we need a simple string value for that then i'll write a compose statement and in the compose what i will do in the function i'll pick the dynamic content of this select output and after that i will get the zero index of that array so once i have that in the get file content now i have the identifier so i can put the output of combos as an identifier and that way we will have a correct file content now next thing is i will write another compose to convert this file content into a base64 format so i'll just name it uh, like base64 and write function of base64 and wrap it around with uh, dynamic value of this get file content output add this the base 64 is done next thing i can uh, initialize a variable initialize a variable i'll name it uh, email body type will be string and uh, in this uh, variable value what we're going to put is first thing is we need this how to wrap text around 
image in HTML. So I've received this code. I'll just copy this. You can put any uh, wrap text with image code that you want. But I've just received this and I'll paste it. And just uh, to showcase what it is doing, that is, that is head and wrapping text around it in the title. That it's some styling has been put in place for body h1 important thing to notice is there is image and p tag so image tag there is float left and margin 5 pixel and for paragraph tag this is text align justify and here you will see in the body there is some text and some div has been used so i'll just remove these div because i don't need these divs remove this remove this as well and to put some test uh, data we'll use this Orium Epsom here and I can just put this and in the title this time around I can put this one all right and into the text this time around I can just put like anything like this in the para right you can add more paragraph as well it's up to you so once this is done the important thing there is a uh, image tag so i'll get this base 64 image tag you can write it manually as well but just to showcase so in the image tag src you will see there is data colon images slash jpeg in base 64 so till here we need and after that we'll put a base 64 encoding here for that we have a dynamic content so we have to put dynamic content just uh, close this start it again now we have dynamic content options available output of base 64 i put in here width i will just say 400 okay and hide as well we need 400 i think that's all we needed once this is done i will go in my send email action v2 here i will send email to myself you can send it dynamically this as well and just say test email and in the body of the email We'll put the output of our email body that's it now we'll test this our flow is successful email has been sent go to our outlook there is test email you will see okay the image is a little weird we go to our flow check our initialize variable okay the height is only 40 so let's set it to 400 and now we'll test it again We have received okay we, okay we have received new email now and if we enlarge this little bit you can see the text we have put in the header title and the text around it it's good now what we can do is we'll go to this flow and we'll run this flow two three times to see if we are getting the dynamic image or not all right So we have run this thrice. We'll go to our Outlook. We have received a new image this time. This time around a different image and a different image all the time. So this is how you can dynamically embed images in your email body using this method. And uh, you can utilize this for 
any purpose if you are sending an email notification with birthday wishes with anniversary even if you want to create a newsletter with dynamic uh, image content you can just uh, configure your document library that way and uh, can utilize this one more thing i just wanted to mention here is that in case you are not receiving images or you're receiving blank image in your email the reason could be your file size so i faced the similar issue so the file size that i've used in this uh, video is uh, less than 800 kb so you can utilize that i've tried more than 800 kb but that was not working with this base 64 for me so the file size could be one of the issues so make sure that your file size is correct and you can use any of the images either jpeg or png i have created a similar video on anniversary email notification using this method so you can check that out in my channel i'll provide the link in the description as well i hope you like this video if you do like don't forget to subscribe learn on tech thank you so much for watching